Well, Stuart Spencer is with us right now from Advanced Air Care, and he just got back from Vegas, where the Starkey Foundation had a convention. Nice to see you, sir, as always. Always great to see you, Kim. Sure, great to see you. Yeah, so tell me about this. This sounds exciting. Well, amazing, amazing. You know, it's the Starkey um, Corporation. You know, the foundation was there as well. There's mm -hmm. always two parts to that. Um, you know, kind of starting with the foundation side of it, you know, yeah. amazing work, you know, has been done in the last year. We've shared some of that, you know, here in our photos. Yes, yeah. And, um, you know, it's, uh, you know, uh, Brandon going to Armenia and uh, myself going to uh, uh, the Michi Philippines. Pichu. Oh, no, the Philippines. That's the right. The Philippines right. Uh, here in November. Um, so, you know, we're just a tiny part of that. You know, they're all over the world all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, so the really exciting thing there is now they have this sustainable model when, uh, whenever we go in and do a mission like that, 90% mm -hmm. of the people that are there stay there and wow. are there to have that continued type of care and follow yeah. up and service and counseling and, you know, all those type of things. Yeah. So, you know, now there's 55 of those around the world um, that are open every day. You know, so instead of going in and going out, cool. so the uh, objective obviously is to make all of them that way mm -hmm. as they continue to go in and train and teach and fit and uh, resolve those kind of hearing problems. But, you know, <clears> the <throat> stories are just amazing. You know, of people that, you know, they fit 10 years ago that are now, you know, in college and, you know, totally, you know, high functioning yeah. and just right back in society and just really thriving individuals, community, you know, uh, contributing back to their communities yeah. and their families. and. So that, that was the foundation fantastic. side. Yeah. You know, the business side, you know, there's 3,500 people there, right? I mean, huge, huge convention. Uh, they call it the Starkey um, Expo, Innovation Expo. And boy, brilliant minds. You know, it, it's so fun to see people that are out there on the cutting edge uh, really making things happen. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, George Blankenship was there. He'd been with Apple. He's with Tesla. And uh, he right. talked about how uh, nobody wanted to buy a Tesla, right? And so what they did was they went where people don't buy cars. Yes. You know, they put them in the malls. Yeah. Right. And so people would walk in and say, I don't want to buy a car. And they're like, hey, that's fine. You know, let's put your kid in the car and take his picture, you know? Yes. And so yeah. they're taking his picture and, the, you know, then they, get, then they get involved in a conversation. Pretty soon people are giving him $5,000 down for a car that's not even made yet. Yeah. You know? And uh, they had It's like, incredible. Yeah. It, it was amazing. You know, he said the kids brought him in um, to the stores because they wanted to see the cool new car, you know? So he was just talking about, you know, relationships with people and, um, you know, how it's all about the customer experience. Mm -hmm. and of course, you know, that's what we try to provide at our office is an amazing customer experience, you know, and I think that uh, many of the listeners that are out there that uh, come to our office, you know, would really agree with that. And we have a different kind of experience for our people. So this really refreshes me and energizes me, yeah. you know, when I see these type of people uh, on the cutting edge. Uh, you know, Tony Shea uh, was there. He's the founder of Zappos. Um, really an incredible individual. You know, Amazon recently acquired Zappos. Yes, they or, did. Or yeah. not so recently, but uh, in the past here. And one of his <clears throat> uh, contingencies to that purchase was that Zappos run independently. Mm -hmm. You know, and they run independently for a real reason. And that's because they really want to have a culture that's really uh, different uh, from Amazon's. And maybe not different from Amazon's, but a culture of their own. Um, so one of the things he was talking about was they asked employees what they really wanted, you know, at the workplace. Yeah. They were building a brand new facility and moving into it and they found a place. And one of the things that uh, uh, they talked about was doggy daycare, that they could bring uh, their dogs and their animals nice. to yeah. work, you know. So they set up this whole facility. And of course, if you read our newsletter, you know, we always talk about Buddy every month, right? Yeah. My dog and all of his things. So uh, everybody knows I love animals. And I thought, you know, what a neat thing, you yeah. know. And, um, he went on to talk about, you know, they're uh, based in Vegas. And so he went oh, on to, know to talk about, you know, there's all the Vegas stuff and the casinos, but in old Vegas, you know, it was kind of, he wanted to help revive kind of the old town mm -hmm. Vegas where most of the locals go and um, really operate. So, you know, he used old containers, you know, these big uh, containers on the back of trucks mm -hmm. and re uh, refurbished all of those that were just going to be thrown away made them into a whole business park and a business I've seen that. center. Yeah. I have seen that online. It's amazing. And you have, it's almost like a, um, some of them are set up uh, for little restaurants right. and little right. businesses. And I don't know if that's the one I saw. It probably is. But I know that that has become kind of a thing. Yeah. yeah. And, and you know, one woman was going to be leaving Vegas. You know, she was kind of down and out, went through some addiction problems mm -hmm. and 
Tony ran into her and said, hey, how about we help you out, you know? And uh, she started her own restaurant, you know, called Eats. It's become incredibly popular. You know, she's wow. back in action, back in communication with her family, you know, uh, rejuvenated relationships and, you know, just really focused on the community that he's involved with. Yeah, you know, that and is fantastic. Really giving back and really, you know, talking about how important that is, you know, and uh, of course, you know, through the foundation, you know, we feel like we give back a lot. Yeah, and, you do. You know, yes. that whole motion of, um, you know, helping people, helping people always works. You it know? does. Um, then and it's are, something that, you know, as long as we've known you here, it's something you've always done. Yeah, well, we love it. Um, then, you know, kind of on the dignitary side of things, you know, um, George Bush, you know, was there, George W. Bush, um, you know, was talking about, you know, uh, in 9-11 and, you know, being in the classroom when he heard the news mm -hmm. and just said, you know, we'll just continue on and, <clears throat> you know, being in the bunkers, you know, uh, going down in the bunkers after, uh, after he was back in Washington and saying, I'm not going to be in a bunker, you know, I'm not going to do any, you know, uh, broadcast from a bunker. Yeah. I'm going up and, you know, we'll just face the people and we'll face the problem. And yeah really showing a lot of courage and, you know, leadership, you know, and uh, uh, really just, it was a very impressive uh, illustration of exactly what leadership's all about to me. And so that was very impressive. Condoleezza Rice was there talking about the same thing. I didn't realize Condoleezza is really a talented woman, you know, uh, tennis player, professional pianist, you know, she teaches at Stanford now, a provost at Stanford, um, but she really is just, uh, very encouraged about where we're at as a nation, you yeah. know, and who we are and, and the role we play internationally and uh, really how secure things are, you know, in the, in the world uh, that, you know, it's not falling apart, that, you know, sure there's pockets of trouble yeah. and there's yeah. always be, you know, people that are radicals and, and creating issues and, you know, obviously we have to pay attention to some of that stuff because it's so violent, but uh, talking about just, there's a real cohesiveness, you know, uh, around the world uh, of leadership and care and, and real security that we can really kind of good relax to into, you know, and, you know, from that level, you know, it's kind of nice to hear that stuff. Yeah, that's neat know? that you were there. <laughs> yeah, it was really great. Yeah. Tony Blair was there from wow. England. Wow, wow. Um, you know, and uh, he... So obviously the Starkey Foundation and the Starkey Corporation is, is, is huge around the world. They really are, and, you know, they're well appreciated, you know, I mean, yeah. uh, they do work in all these different countries and people start to recognize them. I uh, got my picture taken with George Bush and Tony Blair uh, Saturday. So, oh, so I want to see that. Fun. You yeah. got to send that to us next time. <laughs> we'll okay. get that up there. Um, I talked about George Blankenship. Uh, Michael Strahan from Good Morning America was there. Uh, you know, he was a defensive end for the New York Giants. Yes, he was. Yeah. And uh, he talked about being in Germany with his dad. His dad was in the military and never played football in his life. And uh, his dad said, well, you're going to go play football in Texas, you know, and get a scholarship, you mm -hmm. know. And he said, literally, he was like, uh, well, it's a football, you know. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> He'd been working out. He was really a big guy, yeah. you know. And they had called him Bob, you know, uh, because uh, he had a big backside. <laughs> ah. <laughs> and he didn't like that. So he started working out with his dad in the military, you know, exercises, really got strong. So his dad said, you're going to go play football and get a scholarship. Wow. And uh, he did. Well, and we know how, how that happened. Yeah, out that's for right. Yeah. And then went on to uh, Texas, uh, I think Southern Texas. University of Southern Texas, then of course was drafted by the New York Giants and went on to win a Super Bowl. Um, but that wasn't the end of it. You know, he, now he has a clothing line, the luggage line, uh, he's on Good Morning America. Yeah. I mean, just a real positive uh, individual just talking about being bold and, you know, just yeah. stepping into it and doing what you should be doing and everything will come out pretty good. And yeah. So, very exciting. Pretty conference. amazing. Then there's all the technology, you know, side of it, the conference. Uh, all the new stuff, you know, I mean, faster, smarter. This, um, hearing aids are evolving, mm -hmm. you know, we're just really getting to a point where they're not even just hearing aids anymore. Yeah. You know, uh, very shortly, you know, we'll see, you know, hearing aids, you know, taking your heart rate, you know, being able to call, you know, for emergencies, you know, just by nodding your head or tilting it one way or the other, you'll be able to answer questions wow. without speaking. Uh, you know, if you've fallen and yeah. you can't get up type of thing, you don't have to wear the, um, leash anymore, you know, around your neck, you'll be able to communicate with people right through your hearing aid. You'll be able to connect to the internet and, uh, you know, all sorts Good of different stuff. exciting things. So things helping people to hear better and improve the quality of their lives. So that's all good to hear. Yeah, yeah that's fantastic. And I, I want you to bring the pictures next time. I'll do it. I'll do it. I have a lot of them. So they're a lot of fun. I didn't have time to put them together this all morning. Right. But. Uh, always good to see you. It sounds Likewise. like you had a wonderful uh, time in Vegas. It's good to hear all that. 
And uh, you know, maybe next time when you come on, you can talk a little, we'll get a little bit more into the new technology and what's coming down. Sounds fantastic. Really looking forward to the new year. All right, Stuart, good to see you. Thank, <laughs> Thank you, you very Ken. much. You bet. All right, bye-bye. Bye now. We'll be back. <laughs>